Hey guys, Tony totally Dubs here again, and I just want to say I bought about 6.3k um, Infernal Ashes. Uh, I just remind you that these are the ashes which are um, uh, quite popular at the moment. Um, they yield uh, 250 EXP using the Ecto um, train method of training. Um, so now I'm just quickly going to show you, like for example, filling in your buckets, um, tallying. Uh, this is my inventory. You can see these are just buckets. I'm just going to do bucket, uh, two bucket runs, and I'm going to show you what you do with the buckets and the well and the ashes. I'm going to say bones, but yeah. Um, and then there's the ring of dueling. Obviously, I won't really need them, but there you go. And I've got my little raven chick. Yeah, got a little chick on my side. You know, one arm around. Yeah, you, never mind. Um, <laughs> so there you go. Um, and also, I just want to say that, that I'm buying them at six k each. Got over 120m in, uh, well, over 150m in even. So there you go. So right, let's just uh, let's get this ball rolling. Uh, thanks to Adam, uh, which has put some uh, non-human era that is, um, for uh, putting um, an offer into G at the moment uh, for to buying buying them at 6k each. Uh, because I'm not sure if I'm capped at the moment or not. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So this is if you got the agility. Obviously, I do. So we. And you go run around. Obviously, it might be um, might be uh, wise uh, resting sometimes or taking energy pots, something like that. So uh, once you do that, it auto refills. What well, it should do? There you go. Um, so that's quite good. Uh, the beauty of the Ecto is the fact that um, well, you can first of all you can AFK when you're doing these um, slime. Um, and also, well, in comparison to the bones, the ashes, all you have to do is, um, basically, you don't have to gr um, grind them. You can straight, use them straight from the, um, from the, what's it called, uh, on the altar. Um, so this saves probably around four times the time in comparison to D-bones. Although D-bones do yield uh, a longer, um... Uh, a higher EXP, sorry, I'm, I'm not even concentrating, higher EXP um, than the Ashes. Um, as Infernal Ashes, by the way, not the other type of Ashes. Um, however, um, with um, Dragon Bones, the best way to train is to um, is to actually go to a Gilded Altar. Uh, I do have a Gilded Altar, funnily enough. Uh, and I have a... Um, I'm trying to remember the name. I've got Gilded Altar and I've got um, the the burners as well, so I can do that. Obviously, that's going to be quick. Um, it's probably going to be faster filling than filling up. Well, actually, just a little bit faster or a little bit slower than filling up the slime. I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on it. I'm, I'm not really a, a prayer um, guru, so I wouldn't really know. Um, so yeah, it, it's a little bit faster, a little bit slower than using them on the Gilded Altar, um, and obviously you can average quite good EXP on that. Um, however, the EXP for uh, Dragon Bones on an Altar or um, these Ashes on um, on the Ecto is pretty much the same, or the uh, the Ashes are a little bit faster. Uh, simply because you don't have to bother with summoning. Uh, well, you can if you want, but you don't have to bother about it. Um, over here, it seems to be about the same speed as D-Bones. And I've got easy teleports. I don't have to use house teleports. I don't have to worry about opening a door, using on altar, or using the two Merentils on the two burners. You can see I'm trying to make it as easy as possible here. I don't have to bring a tinderbox, so I get more... Um, more uh, space so to speak uh, I don't have to waste um, three space uh, or even four space for the two Merentils, the tinderbox and the teleport that's if you're using a teletab um, and if you want to tele back you know I guess it's fine if you can just use the same method as I'm using so yeah now I'm going to quickly show you um, the training of it and I'm going to whip on the AXP thing so you guys can see how much it yields um, and Really, I mean, to be honest, I'm going to fill up, like, a F load of buckets. I'm going to fill up all these buckets. So I'm going to have about 500 or something like that. Uh, and then after that, what you want to do is put the 13, and you do 13. Um, obviously, you're going to have one space empty, but you need that one space anyway. Uh, you'll see in a second why. Although you don't need one space. But anyway, you can't fill up anything else, so it doesn't really matter. Um, 
So they normally yield a 72.5 EXP, but uh, if I do this, there you go, 250 EXP. Um, sorry, I'm going a bit fast. Um, so yeah, 56. See, there you go. So 250 EXP per... Um, oh, this is what they want to um, talk about. This is the Ecto thing. Actually, another thing to bear in mind is... Um, Probably, oh, there you go, the, the right-click right option, I forgot about that. Um, probably just put a ghost speaking amulet, um, and there you go. So you can see that was really, really quick. Um, there you go, that's... <laughs> Theoretically, the fastest EXP um, you can get in prayer, but that's ex excluding uh, filling up um, for the... Um, filling up for... Um, the slime buckets, but regardless of slime buckets, um, it is much much faster. Again, I'm going to show you again. So uh, let's time this one. Uh, I'm going to get a uh, good old, <laughs> old fashioned, aren't I? Um, so you can see it's 45 past. Well, I'm going to try. It's just it's not going to work. All right, well I'll look at it. Um, so it's 50. I'm going to wait until it gets to zero zero. Right. Obviously, I'm not the quickest man in the world, but um, that's not what she said. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a bad one. I just put myself in a hole. I dig the hole and I put myself into it. So, there you go. And um, let's imagine you have to collect as well. Hawa, hawa, hawa. There you go. Two castle wars in just oh to the bank to the bank to make it more fair. Thirty five seconds. It took thirty five seconds. Uh, let's say argument's sake, thirty seven seconds to get to the bank. Um, to from bank, open screen, to ecto place. Take that. Take tokens if needed. Um, and there you go. It takes thirty five seconds. <laughs> you can imagine that's bloody fast. You see, almost that money is just going in the drain at the moment. So there you go, it's very fast training. However, again, I am not including the uh, buckets of slime. However, 35 seconds. Now, I can time the buckets of slime if you so wish. Um, I'll do that right now. Um, after I've done this round, I'll just uh, time the buckets of slime. So you guys can uh, round about estimate how long it will take per, um, sort of per trip. Um, imagining you have 500 or 5,000 buckets of slime, and you've got 5,000 uh, ashes. See, I, I keep want to say, I keep want to say, I oh, yeah. I feel like saying bones each time, but obviously I have to rectify myself and say um, ashes because they're ashes, obviously, ashes to ashes. So um, right, so I'm gonna go down to the bucket of slime. I didn't even time that, so I say 40 past. Um, my chick is still behind me. Hey baby. Um, climb down. I think I said 40 past. Yeah, 40 past. 40 past from bank. Um, right. So obviously it's going to take longer. But I'll well, consider it. Um, all into. Um, so it's 51, 40. Oh, 51, my bad. 40. Yeah, the time at the moment is um, 6.52 and 25 seconds, according to my uh, good old clock. <laughs> you love it, don't you? Um, yeah, London GMT, blah, 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 all that shit, whatever. <coughs> so yeah, um, normally uh, Dragon Bones take about two minutes uh, to actually do the prayer thing, so doing this thing. From what I saw on videos, they're about two minutes. A uh, minute and a half to two minutes, depending on how fast you can get. Um, yeah. This is hitting 53. Nope. 53. Right. I'm going to imagine you're going to do a, a full round right now. So I'm, I'm just going to go back. Oh, wrong place. Yeah, there you go. My bad. Yeah, don't forget, always leave it refill itself or else you'll be uh, stranded and you'll have to walk back. That's a pain in the fucking ass. And don't forget the Castle Wars, obviously, du um, Ring of Dueling obviously runs out after a while, so just bear that in mind. 
Um, right, obviously I wasn't fast this time, but um, I think we're going to hit 54, 15, so about, not too long, let's see. Hawa, 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 hawa. I don't know why I put the accent, or well, accent, you know. Boom, baby, headshot. How many am I? Two, so I need one. Uh, it's just hit 54. And imagine I just bank up now and go. So uh, it's gone from... There you go. Um, so about a minute. Oh, two minutes. Two minutes 30. Two minutes 30, something like that. It's around that line, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Two minutes 30. Two minutes 30... Um, obviously you're faffing about a little bit like that, taking my time. But obviously if you've got buckets of slime, um, full buckets of slime, it's going to take you 35 seconds. If you're going to do buckets of slime and then do the, uh, the ashes straight away, it'll take you about 2 minutes 30. Uh, so if you bank full and then go. So there you go guys, I hope you've uh, enjoyed that video. Uh, just a brief explanation of what it does, the XP it holds and what you get. Uh, I'm not going to bury one now because that's a 6k loss right there. But that's uh, 62.5 um, EXP per ash um, per burial. So there you, go. there you go. I've already increased quite a lot there. So there you go guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Totally dubbed out. Kapow. And Adam SMD. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs>